Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, and for the very first time, I'm gonna be opening up some fan mail. Now you might be wondering, when did I ever announce that I was taking in fan mail? And officially, I never really did. I kind of posted about it once or twice on Discord when a couple of people asked, so I haven't really ever made an announcement for it, but yes, I do have a P.O. box, and you're welcome to send in anything you want. And so for today, we're gonna be taking a look at two pieces of the very first fan mail that I've ever gotten, which is really, really special to me because I started Duck Bricks with just wanting to share my love for LEGO with the world and the LEGO collection, and it's really grown to this point where people have actually sent in stuff. So first of all, thank you so, so much to the folks who did send in some stuff to the fan mail. If you want to send in something yourself, go ahead and check out the address linked in the description below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and check them out. Okay, so before me, I've brought a couple of items from a few packages I've gotten. First of all, thank you so much to everybody who actually sent something in. I think I randomly gave my P.O. box like one time on a random, I don't even think it was a video, I think it was at one point in Discord, and folks picked up on it and mailed me stuff, and this was honestly a total surprise. So first of all, thank you so much, that really, really means a lot, and I genuinely am very thankful and really wanted to express my gratitude in video to people who actually sent me over stuff. What I will say is that I did receive a lot of notes and a lot of letters, and while I am very grateful for those, I obviously know that a lot of the letters were personal notes and just people talking about what videos they liked and what sorts of LEGO stuff they enjoyed and even got some drawings in, so I'm really, really grateful for those, but I figured that since those are more personal notes to me, it doesn't really make sense to showcase on video of actually opening up fan mail. Uh, but what I have actually brought are some really, really fun and cool items that I did actually receive as physical Lego related items in the mail that I figured would totally make sense to showcase. And these two come from all over the world. Uh, one of them's from the US. This one is from overseas and there's a lot of really, really cool stuff. So let's go into taking a look at these right now. So the first package here comes from Braybird over on Discord. He was actually one of the people who asked me if I had a P.O. box to send fan mail to all the way back when I think it was a few months ago now that I actually was able to put in my address. And as a thank you, I know in your note you mentioned you were saving up for a Duckbricks hoodie. What I've done is I've actually already mailed it back to you for free. So just take it as a gift. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy. Honestly, by the time this video comes out, you probably will have already gotten it, but if not, there is a package on your way, so thank you so much. I know you've been saving up for that hoodie, but you know what? You can now spend that money on more LEGO because you have a hoodie for Duck Bricks heading your way. Uh, but first off here, we have a box full of both custom and regular minifigures, and this is super cool. The note inside just says, thank you so much for everything. Duck Bricks and hope you enjoy these and seriously, seriously means a lot. Thank you so much. This is really great and I absolutely will be adding these to my collection because first off here, we actually have a couple of custom minifigures. We have custom versions of like the Cloud City Boba Fett, uh, the original Django Fett and even White Boba Fett and these are actually really well produced. The quality of these customs is really phenomenal and I just want to say thank you so much for sending these to me. They're really great minifigures and I obviously really am a big fan of the original ones and it's cool to kind of add in these custom ones into my city as well. And then in terms of the standard minifigures, we actually have a Enjoyed here utilizing some of the Alpha Team 2001 legs, which honestly is a combo that works really, really well. I would not have expected that, but yeah, this Ninjoid from Ninjago utilizing that purple and gray leg from Alpha Team is a totally good color combo. I definitely will be adding this to my city, especially because I have so many Ninjago focused displays in my city with the Ninjago modulars and kind of having it be a whole crossroads area. This will totally fit in as one of the members of the Merged Realms. And over here, we also have a Paradisa minifigure. This is kind of a vintage one from one of my favorite, more underrated LEGO themes, which is Paradisa, kind of the precursor to what we now get in terms of LEGO friends and stuff like that. Super cool to add this one because I do have quite a lot of Paradisa sets, so I'm gonna add this one to the display. And I think for me, the coolest minifigure, and seriously, thank you so, so much, is this Gremlin from Lego Dimensions. Now, if you have seen the Lego Batman movie, these gremlins also appeared in the Lego Batman movie, but the minifigure is from Dimensions. And this is actually one of the rare minifigures in the package. It has a specially molded head. The arms are printed and it uses the Digitigrade Fawn legs, which were first introduced in the collectible minifigure series. 
This is so perfect because it totally makes sense to have more than one gremlin. And so this guy is gonna be running around in my city and keep an eye out in future videos for all of these minifigures that'll probably make their way into my city in some way or another. So first of all, thank you so, so much, Braybird on Discord who sent this to me. Seriously, this means the world and I've honestly never received fan mail before, and this is literally the first package I've ever gotten of fan mail, so I just want to say thank you so, so much. It really means a lot, and I'm really touched. I hope you enjoy the sweatshirt. But now from there, there's actually some other very interesting items that I was sent from Distorted Brick, and I'd actually recommend you go check out Distorted Brick over on Instagram. I'll be doing a much more dedicated video to building up a castle army with some of the things they've sent me, but Let's just go through it quickly right now. Essentially what happened is that Distorted Brick reached out to me on Instagram and basically said that, hey, there's this really interesting Dutch Lego auction that had a very, very special Bionicle package in it. And what it is is that it actually is early test kits of the McDonald's Tohunga McTorin that were sent out in 2001 to promote the launch of Bionicle which contained a copy of each of the Tohunga meant for display purposes. So the masks were actually glued onto the faces, the, mini the characters themselves were disassembled, but it is a really fascinating piece of history. You can see a brief look at it right now, and I probably will be dedicating either a longer term video on Bionicle oddities like this, or at the very least having it have a place in my Lego museum alongside Christian Faber stuff. So I had to pick this up, and first of all, Thank you so much for going out of the way to bid on this on my behalf and then ship it to me. This was just absolutely one of the nicest things that somebody who I just didn't even know before did for me. And I just want to say thank you so, so much. I'm very, very grateful. And I definitely don't take it for granted that there are folks out there who will just see something they think I'd find interesting in my collection and then offer to help me get it. Even though because it was a Dutch auction, it was only shipping in the Netherlands, I couldn't even bid on it myself. But they bid on it, they won it, and then they got it and shipped it to me. So seriously, thank you so, so much. But in the package I opened up, I was shocked to see some surprises inside. And this may be one of the coolest packages I have ever gotten. And we're gonna save the best for last. So stay tuned for that. And you might've gotten a sneak peek in the thumbnail. But what Distorted Brick does is that they actually make specialty fabric elements for castle themes, and especially pretty much for all of the vintage castle themes that LEGO has done. From Knights Kingdom 1 and 2, to Forest Men, to Crusaders, to Lion Knights, to Wolfpack, there are flags and banners for almost every single one of the individual castle factions, and even for some of the collectible minifigure ones as well. So for some logos that were exclusive to collectible minifigures appearing on shields, they've done them. They've done like all of the Knights Kingdom 2 different animal motifs, and it is just super cool because these pieces of fabric are honestly even higher quality than Legos. They actually do feel almost like medieval style cloth that people would be wearing. And what they've sent me is an absolute smorgasbord of banners, flags, and capes that I can use to build my own castle army. So you can definitely check that out in a video coming very soon. I will absolutely be going totally crazy and building up a massive castle army. But this is super, super exciting. And it is really, really special to be able to get these in as custom items. And I have not really ventured that much into different custom Lego pieces. But this is really, really awesome of them to do this and send it to me. I just wanna say thank you so much because I'm a big fan of minifigure capes and I love taking a look at them and being able to play around with them. And having these as banners and capes and even some of these super sized large scale banners are just going to look absolutely phenomenal in my castle builds. And I'm a big fan of vintage Lego castles, so this is totally perfect. And I wanna say thank you so much. It's super cool to see so much Lego history represented in all of these banners from the Scorpion Knights, from Lord Vladek, to the Trolls from the 2008 Fantasy Era theme, even some of the green horse shields from the collectible minifigure series. There are a ton of really cool items in here. And while I'm not gonna go through every single item in this video, because I feel like this does deserve a video to itself when I'm building up a castle army, which I'm really excited to do, stay tuned for that. I just wanna say thank you so much. This means a lot and it's super, super cool to actually be able to be hands-on with these cape elements. But the most special item is yet to come because inside that package, alongside also 
this very interesting Lego Bionicle promotional item. I don't really know what exactly this is. I guess it's supposed to be a little flashlight. It's like a tiny flashlight keychain that says Lego Bionicle and it's an official merchandise item. So first of all, thanks again for including that. That's super cool. I did not even know this existed. Another really fascinating piece to add to my collection. But what's really, really special for me is that Distorted Brick sent over, <laughs> this is so cool, some custom made Duck Bricks flags and capes. This has got to be one of the coolest things I have ever been sent, honestly, hands down. And it's so perfect because I literally just got a Duck Brick Sig Fig, so I can actually use these capes on my Duck Brick Sig Fig or maybe make a night version. But it's not just the capes, I also got these little Duck Bricks flags, I got the larger scale Duck Bricks flags, and even a gigantic Duck Bricks banner or two. These are going to look so cool. I am absolutely gonna cover my Lego City with these Duckworks flags. And it's just so awesome because some of these flags are the original cuts of flags that Lego would do for their castle themes. So it's so special to actually see this with a beautiful yellow and orange trim. It is honestly one of the coolest things. And I know I said it already, but I can't say it enough. This is one of the coolest things I've been sent in my life and I, had no idea what to expect. You mentioned that you are going to be throwing in some extra stuff, but this is above and beyond. My mind is absolutely blown. So to everybody who sent me fan mail, these are not the only people. I, I definitely want to call out some more, but I am very cognizant of, especially for my younger fans, I don't want to reveal any personal information or names on the internet. Uh, but if you did send me fan mail, I did read the notes. I saw them. Thank you so, so much. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot. And I cannot wait to do some really cool things with these Distorted Bricks banners, to add in these really special minifigures, both custom and regular into my Lego city, to really flesh out the world and add so many characters. So thank you so much to Braybird on Discord, to Distorted Bricks on Instagram, and to everybody else who sent me fan mail, and I really greatly, greatly appreciate it. If you do wanna send me something, my PO box is in the description of this video, and by all means, I do, I'm i not asking for anything, and, and honestly, just getting this was a total surprise. But I just wanted to put out this video to say thank you to the fans who actually sent in stuff, and it is really special getting a chance to get fan items. But before we wrap up this video, there is one last item I do want to cover. And I know that the video is called Fan Mail, and this technically isn't a piece of fan mail, but it is something I did just get at a recent meet and greet, and... I just have to mention it in this video. So this past weekend, I actually got a chance to go over to Pasadena, California for Bricks and Minifigs Pasadena's grand opening, where I did a meet and greet alongside the one and only Ahmed Best, AKA Jar Jar Binks and Keller and Beck from Star Wars. It was very, very surreal being the kind of another guest alongside him. We had two separate lines or folks who came to see me, folks who came to see him and folks who came to see both. And it honestly was one of the coolest meet and greets I've ever been to because Ahmed Best was there giving out autographs, Jar Jar Binks himself, and along the way, I encountered a lot of fans of Star Wars, a lot of fans of Lego Star Wars, and one of those young fans, Oliver, who I met in line, had lined up just to meet me, and I was really, really touched by that. I seriously was very, very grateful for the opportunity to meet so many people. There will be a full dedicated video coming out to this entire experience coming out at some point because that deserves a video of its own. But what Oliver gave me was this. Check this out. This is like one of the coolest pieces of artwork, helmet, cosplay style design stuff I've ever gotten. It is this ornate detailed inscribed stormtrooper helmet with some very elaborate flourishes on it it's got all sorts of beautiful detailing it almost feels like kind of a medieval helmet or an ancient roman helmet something like that and this has got to be one of the coolest things i've ever gotten yes it is wearable so i can put the helmet on as you can see i'm wearing it right now freeze for the empire but this is so cool and let's just hear from Oliver himself who actually did want to be in this video. I got his permission. So let's hear from him right now and check it out. I'm here with Oliver who just gave me this crazy awesome Star Wars Stormtrooper helmet. Thank you so much. This really means a lot. You want to say anything? I'm so glad to be 
one of Duckworth's videos. That's right. Best moment of my life. Oh, that means a lot, man. Well, thank you so much for this. I'm really gonna treasure this. Check this out. This is like the coolest thing I've ever been given. So thank you so much, man. So <laughs> my goodness. So once again, thank you so much, Oliver and your family for gifting me this incredibly ornate Star Wars helmet. This is gonna go on display next to my Galaxy's Edge lightsabers. I have a mini Star Wars collection of non-Lego related Star Wars items here at home and this is going to fit right in. And it is so, so cool. Thank you so much. And I just wanna say I've been blown away by the generosity. This is not the only thing that I got because a family actually was able to give me a ton of Korean sweets. Unfortunately, I only do have a photo because I did gift some of those to my mom and of course I got to enjoy some myself. So if it's food, you know, it's, it's in here. I don't have it anymore, but I do want to say thank you so much for that. And even on a meet and greet before that, a family who recently visited Japan who were fans of the Duck Bricks channel gave me some exclusive Legoland Japan bricks because they wanted to show their appreciation for the channel and say thank you and give me something I might not have owned in my collection. And these are just a few examples of some of the really, really cool things that folks have given me and I really do appreciate it. It seriously means a lot and it is enough for me just meeting folks who watch videos. I mean, that's why I do this. Duck Bricks is very much something I do for fun. It's not a job to me. I work a ton of other jobs so I can take time to relax and spend time on Duck Bricks. And it just is so fulfilling actually getting a chance to meet folks who are fans of the channel, who have favorite videos, who can talk to me about different types of stuff I put out. And I mean, that's why I keep doing this, you know? That's why I really love sharing my love for Lego and meeting people. I've literally done a meet and greet every weekend since January and I think I'll be doing one until like November. So it's just been so cool. It's been so great to meet so many folks and people who are fans of Lego Masters, people who are fans of Duck Bricks, fans of Bionicle, fans of Ninjago and getting a chance to just talk to so many people is just so much fun. I'm an extrovert, I love meeting people, I love just having conversations, and obviously I wouldn't be doing a YouTube channel if I wasn't. So just getting the chance to meet people, really, really touching and special gifts aside, has been very fulfilling. And I just wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart to everybody who met me, who shook my hand, who said hi, who said they were fans of the channel, and thanks for watching. I'll keep on putting out more content for you to see and more videos, sharing my love for Lego, sharing this Lego hobby and collection with all of you around the world. And I want to say thank you and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming soon because there's a ton of cool stuff that I can now play around with here. Thank you so much and it really means a lot. All right, and with that, we have summed up my very first fan mail opening video. If stuff comes in, I hope to do this at a pretty regular basis. This was really, really cool. And again, special thank you to those folks who were able to send me some really cool stuff. I'm really appreciative. Thank you so, so much. And yeah, hope you keep enjoying Duckbrook's videos. Really great to be here. Thanks for watching and bye for now.